Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my quick review for The Savages, directed by Oliver Stone, based on a book of, I think, the same name. And this movie I was not looking forward to. First of all, I saw this trailer about 500 times. I saw it way more than I saw Batman's, Spider-Man's, and even friggin' Prometheus together. And that's a real big problem, seeing that those are much bigger movies than this. And I didn't watch this, like, 500 times on, like, the internet. I'm, I'm talking about, like, in theaters. Like, it's not like I go on the internet and it's like, oh, Tuesday, time to watch the Savages trailer 100 times? No, definitely not. It's always in the theater. Every freaking movie I see, it's there. Even kids' movies. I'm like, this is not a kid's film. Why would you show this? Uh, well, that's not true, obviously. But, uh, anyway, it's just a movie I was not looking forward to. There you go. I saw it anyway. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I don't know. I don't know where else to go from that. Alright, so I'm just going to keep on going, okay? Because I want this to be quick. Alright, the story here is very simple. You have two main characters. You have Chan, played by Taylor Kitsch, and you got Ben, played by uh, Aaron Johnson, alright? And they're two weed sellers that are like some of the best out there. They make some of the best weed, they have the best ingredient for weed, it's great weed, whatever. Uh, and they have a girlfriend who they both share. They both share this girlfriend, uh, named O, played by Blake Lively, and they're all lovey-dovey, whatever, and then the cartel comes out and says, you know what, we want a piece of your action, and if you say no, we're going to kill everybody you know. Well, they didn't say that, but they pretty much insinuated that, and of course they say no, because they're smart, and they say, no, we don't want to be a part of your thing, we respectfully decline, and the cartel says, all right, fine, and then they take O, and they kidnap her, and they use her as leverage, and they say, do what we say, and they're like, okay, and of course, later on in the film, they decide, you know what, we're not going to do what the cartel says, let's go after them, and they go after them, so there you go, there's a story, I don't want to spoil anything else, there you go. I actually like the plot. I think it's a really cool one. It's a bunch of guys against the cartel. That's a really cool plot. Uh, my main problem is that the characters aren't really likable. Uh, I mean, the acting's okay. Taylor Kitsch and Aaron Johnson do a good job in their leading roles. They do. They do an alright job. But their characters aren't really all that likable. Um, they, you don't get to spend too much time with them to even care for them. And they sell weed and they're just like brutal to everybody and stuff. It's just, I don't really like them. I mean, Aaron Johnson's character is a little bit less douchebag-ish than uh, Taylor Kitsch's, but still, they're not really likable characters. Blake Lively in the film, whenever she's actually in the film, uh, she's okay, even though she does the same thing, like, oh, I love you guys, oh, do, 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 I'm gonna do this, like, shy face and stuff, like, and turn away and not look at people and stuff. She does that all the freaking time, but she's okay. Uh, but the thing I hate her about, I mean, I hate her in this film for, is the narration. She narrates this entire film, and she's trying to be, like, witty and funny and just dramatic at times in this narration and it just does not work and it's really annoying to listen to. Um, she is not a Morgan Freeman. Don't don't even try. Um, you, should, dude, fucking, you ain't you ain't gonna narrate for no fucking Penguin movie anytime soon, so get out of here. Um, so she's bad. I just didn't like her just because of that narration. She's okay in the film. I just hated that narration. Um, Benicio Del Toro is great. She actually, I mean she, oh my god. He plays the leading man to Selma Hayek's character who is also fantastic, who is the head of the cartel. And Benicio Del Toro is really good. He's very, like, kooky in a way, and very, very menacing and very scary. He's very brutal and violent. Uh, he betrays everybody, kills everyone. And Selma Hayek's character is not like that. She's the head, so uh, she has to be a little bit less, you know, dangerous. But she's definitely great in this film, too. She's still very menacing as well. She's great. Um, <clears throat> you have uh, John Travolta, who is John Travolta. He's a freaking, he's awesome. I love John Travolta, so... Nothing else to say there. He's just John Travolta. He's great. Does good good job with the dialogue. Uh, he plays a sleazy DA agent. I should probably say that. Uh, and he helps out the main two characters. And he's good in the film. He's John Travolta. So for the most part, the acting is actually damn good in this film. Just the characters aren't really likable, and the script itself isn't all that fantastic. It's not very well told at times. I mean, at times it will actually you know, get you invested, like this whole this whole scene with uh, Benicio Del Toro and John Travolta's character where they're just talking and it's actually very intense at times, but there's not that many scenes like that. There's a lot of scenes where a uh, freaking Taylor Kitsch and freaking Aaron Johnson and Blake Lively are just having sex and smoking weed or something. And it's just, it's like half, half the movie is just filler stuff that I did not care for at all. And some side plots that almost go nowhere and an ending that just like Oh my god, that ending is so terrible. It really is. Like, it's one of those psych-out endings, like, oh, this happened. Oh, no, that's not real. This happens. Like, it's just so bad. It really is. So, overall, I just didn't really 
care for the story itself and the acting's good and the violence when it gets to it is actually a really a lot of violence and even action when it gets to that it's actually very exciting but for the most part the story itself isn't that great the characters didn't get me invested and it's a very long film too it's about two hours and ten minutes so overall I would say The Savages is an okay movie it has a lot of violence has some action here that actually is pretty good but there's a lot of filler in there a lot of stuff that just could have been edited out and made this film like an hour and a half pretty much so overall I'm just gonna give the savages I'm gonna give it a 24 out of a 40 I didn't really care for it all that much don't want to see it again but it wasn't a terrible time so there you go there's my review there was my quick review hopefully I don't even know <laughs> this could be like 10 minute review I don't even know so anyway I hope you enjoyed it thank you and goodbye oh god Fucking out of here. You can go away now.